it's Liza Jane Wolf here, your soul inspired guide in this group. And I wanted to come on and talk about skipping me time because it ends up being too much of a hassle. And Facebook keeps doing that, so I think I'm live. I'm just going to keep going. Um, so quite often we know that we need our downtime, and especially when we are doing those things that help fuel our spiritual journey, that help fuel our connection to source. And I'm talking about those things like journaling, uh, meditation, taking baths, making time to work with our crystals, making time to use our oracle cards, those very specific things that really help us not only manage our mental, emotional, physical bodies, but also help push us further along our spiritual journey. So what I used to do a lot and what I find happens quite frequently as I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of intuitive women, helping them understand uh, the role their intuition plays and really helping them understand the importance of taking that me time, right? So one of the biggest reasons I find that we skip our me time is that we tell ourselves it's a hassle, right? We tell ourselves that we don't have enough time to do it, right? Even though we know if we just sit for five minutes and write in that freaking journal, it's gonna help dump all of that crap out of our head. It's gonna help us put it on paper. Or if we just take five minutes and grab our amethyst or grab our selenite and just sit and close our eyes and take some deep breaths, we know how cleansing and nourishing that is for ourselves. But we have this story in our head that it can be too much of a hassle. And so it sounds kind of funny when I say it out loud, right? Taking care of myself is too much of a hassle. And if we really dove a little deeper into that, is it a hassle because we're uncomfortable being with ourselves? Is it a hassle? I know it used to be a hassle for me because my spouse felt like, my time needed to be devoted to him um, right away when I got home. And really, my time needed to be devoted to me to decompress so that I could be present for him. And I felt like the hassle wasn't really taking time for myself. The hassle was the argument that I would have to have with him, right? And, and it wasn't always necessarily really an argument, but it was me having, thank you, to defend my position, right? And so what I find is we skip over ourselves, we push our me time, we push our spiritual time, we push the time that we need to take for ourselves to nourish ourselves, to connect with our source, to um, uh, carry ourselves along our spiritual path. We push that to the side because the hassle is that we have to defend our position. We feel like we have to defend or we have to explain, and to me those are the same things. Whenever you feel like you have to explain something to somebody, you're really just defending your position. We feel like we can't come in and say, hey, I operate different than you. I need time to work with and manage my energy. I need to go into the bedroom, sit down, take a couple deep breaths, grab a couple stones, release, and write in my journal. And maybe I need five minutes and maybe I need 15 minutes, right? But that's the part we don't wanna do. We just get sick and tired. We just get overwhelmed. I mean, I just got disgusted. I got disgusted with having to defend my position and explain myself. And I got disgusted with the way that it would unfold. And I got, really, I would get pissed. And I just know that's gonna make my energy even worse. So let me not even get into that discussion with my partner about why I need to take this time. So how do we shift that, right? How do we stop feeling like we have to defend or argue for our ability to take time for ourselves? How do we switch that notion that to claim our own time and space is a hassle? Well, we first have to tell ourselves that we deserve it, that we're worthy of it, that it's actually the key piece that helps us show up in the world as the people that we wanna be, right? 
we have to take the time in our own mind, in our own space, in our own energetic field to claim that territory for ourselves because we know how vitally important it is, right? So if you know that you're you're that person who skips their, and we'll call it me time, but really that skips your spiritual practice because it's too much of a hassle and you recognize that quite often that hassle is not really about the time you're taking, but about the way that you have to defend your position. And you know that you wanna to start to be able to claim that time. You know that you want to take that time for yourself because it fuels you to be the person that you that you want to be you absolutely can do that it just starts with that shift in your own um giving yourself permission to do it and that's really how we shift from it being a hassle and not taking the time to claiming our space and knowing without a doubt that it doesn't have to be a fight the more time we take for ourselves the more that we shift the energy around us and we can shift that experience all right uh, liza jane wolf here your soul inspired guide and i will see you in the next video